My name is Artist Nicole, and guess what, you guys? Today, we are going to be sailing away. <laughs> that's right. That's what I'm talking about. Grab your sailing gear. Grab your big boots. <laughs> okay, because tonight we are going. We are going. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I don't expect to have uh, as many this morning because we had to change the time. It's not our normal Sunday time. And the reason is, is because I got my littles this weekend. Yes, my brother's little babies. I got two three-year-olds and an eight-month-old. So let me just tell you, I'm going to be a little busy. <laughs> Last time we had them, I was like, oh. <laughs> I can't wait, though. I'm so excited. Hi, Nancy Flynn Thibault. Hello, Amy Cooper. Look at you. You're going like a... I can't believe the scammers found me. Hi, scammers. How you do? <laughs> okay. So, I have to tell you that, guys, this quick story. Oh, I didn't even get a chance to take those little buggers off. Oh, they're going crazy. Um, so, i got to tell you a quick story about this painting. Okay? This is like the third revision of this painting. But I, what I want you to notice is I want you to see the sailboat. Okay? Now. This is the deal, right? I invite my dad over this week. My dad's a beautiful man. He's a little rascal, though. And uh, I said, Dad, what do you think of this painting? Right? Look. And he used to build sailboats in one of his lives. I mean, he's a rascal. He's a pilot. He, you know, he's just all over there. And I love him. He's the most craziest, beautiful person I've ever met. And uh, he's my hero. So I said, Dad, what do you think about this painting? You know what I'm saying? Wow, look at check this thing out. And he's like, Nick. <laughs> he's like, your boat won't, your boat won't say it's going to flip. It's going to, it's going <laughs> to. He's like, it may look pretty, but that boat's not going to say I know, right? What dad tells you that? So anyway, so this is why, you guys, I revised it. So, I could have you guys avoid the embarrassment of ever having to give this beautiful painting away to your loved ones and have them look at you if they know anything about sailing and say, <laughs> and say, you know what? That boat's not going to float. <laughs> so, what that means for you guys, okay? If you, we add it, it's a little more technical. If you guys want to go grab a, uh, a pencil and a ruler, you can do that, okay? Otherwise, I'm going to have you free ball it with me, and we are going to be just fine, my little penis. Don't you worry. We always have the oars. <laughs> and the life raft. <laughs> okay, so check this out. These are the colors that we're going to use today. Not that many, okay? We got a little teal. We got a little pink. You're probably going to use about a teaspoon and a half of both of those. That's right, baby. You give me that happy love. And we got two whites. We got a dirty white and a clean white. Nikki White fight fight. So what you guys are going to do is every time I say use your dirty white, clean white, you know what I'm saying. All right. We got a little black and we've got a tiny little of yellow. And that's it, you guys. That is it. Hey, Kathy Gray. How you doing, sweetie? Julie Adelman. Oh, I'm always the crazy one. Yes, yes. So guess what? In Maine, hello, Gigi Verjack. How you doing, girl? In Maine, it is going to be 70 degrees tomorrow. Now, let me just tell you what this means when you live in Maine and it's 70 degrees. The spring is here. Summer. So, we're all going to be out in our kinis. Right, well, not me. I gave up my kini a few years ago. But we're going to be out in our kinis on the beach showing off our pasty white glowing on the beaches. <laughs> That's what it means in Maine in the spring. <laughs> we're like, ooh, it's summer. <laughs> okay, so you guys. What we are going to do, who's ready to set sail? I know 
know I am. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. So the first thing that you guys are going to do with this little whippersnapper, okay? Everybody is going to grab you. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Chase Louise, where am I? It's morning. Morning's not my best time. That's why I have my cup of coffee. One of them. You guys think I drink ten, but just one. I know. So, and then it's never warm because I talk too much. But anyways, um, so, Artist Nicole on Artful Nights, Maine. The beautiful part about my rules is that I have none. So, you guys eat, you drink, you have a fabulous time at home. Grab two cups of coffee to keep up with me. And, other than that... I have no rules. So, what that means is art is what makes your heart happy. Hi, Donna Smith. Hi, Gigi Verrat. Thank you, baby girl. Um, I am visiting Maine in August. Is this video available for viewing this evening? Yes, love bug. So, this is the beauty of my shows, okay? Immediately when I finish the show, I download it to my Facebook page. So, you can get it there. And then in a couple of days, it's going to go on my YouTube channel so you can have it forever. So when I say I'm doing a free show, girl, I want you to make sure that you have access to it for the rest of your life. So it's either going to be on my Artful Nights main. Whoop, look at that. What? Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> Probably backwards, though. Artful Nights main Facebook or my YouTube, honey. Look them both up, and that's where you'll find that. My YouTube, I've got about 30 tutorials for you. All right. So, hello, Patricia Puzzle. Hello, Kathy Kathy. You missed the colors. All right, sweet bug. So, for the colors, all we're going to need, okay? And this is a deal. You know what me, right? Art's what makes your heart happy. It's all about what you feel is beautiful. These are the colors that I'm using. If you want to do something, thank you, Elmar. If you want to do something totally different, okay? You want to change up your colors. This one, I went with a teal and a magenta for my sky and my water. However... You guys want to do orange, you want to do purple, you want to do reds and blues and whatever. You choose your sky color, okay? But this is what I went with, honey. I went with teal and magenta. All this stuff is just the extras, okay? Thank you, honey. This is actually my bed head. I was working on a painting this morning and I got too busy. To so anyways, uh, we got two whites. Dirty white, clean white, black, and a tiny squirt of yellow. So these are the two important colors, the magenta and the teal. Now, if you want to use purple and light blue, if you want to use, what's another good combination, orange and red, just bring in a little bit of blue because you're going to need some bluish in the water. But other than that, honey, every all you people choose your colors, okay? You choose your colors. It's your world. Right? Not my world. It's what art make, is what makes your heart happy, what you want to see on the wall. Okay? So, with that being said, I bet you're all scrambling to get your favorite colors, aren't you? <laughs> I got you. I got you. All right. So, the first thing that I am going to have everybody do, everybody's going to pick up their big old brush. All right? Big old, you need this apron? Well, Donna Smith, you are in luck, honey. I have my new aprons in. I just have to take them to the print shop. And in about two weeks, we're going to be making some more awful nuts, main aprons, just for you, honey. So you stay in touch, okay? So, first thing that we are going to do, you guys are going to pick up your big kahuna. And I never tell you guys, all right, I'm going to name this brush after my dad. Yeah, I am. And believe it or not, my dad's name is Peter. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. So <laughs> you want a red one. You got it, sweet pea. They're red and blue, okay? So we're going to take our Peter. <laughs> That's what I thought when I said, darn it, Dad. <laughs> and you guys are going to dip it in the water. We're going to squeeze it out so he's nice and flat. Squeeze your Peter. Squeeze your Peter. Okay, and what you guys are going to do first, okay, you are going to take whatever 
watercolor you choose, okay? Whatever watercolor is up here. And for me, that is my teal, all right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw that horizon line straight across, just like this, okay? We, whoops, Lee, look at this. You can tell I've had my coffee this morning. Me horizon is all jibby jibby juju. -ju. All right, but that's all right because we're gonna be painting over it anyways. But there you go. There's your horizon line, just like that. Hopefully it's somewhat straight. <laughs> Hopefully, okay? All right, but just notice, all right, actually I'm gonna flip it over because just notice that the water is just a little bit, um, what do you call that? There's a little bit more in the water than the sky. That's all. And if you guys, uh, if, hello, Joe Hill, how you doing, sweet pea? Um, and if you guys want to uh, flip it over, that's okay, because at this point, you can. <laughs> okay, so this is your horizon line. It's kind of my horizon line, all right? Then what you're going to do is you're going to wash off your pita. Okay, wash it off, dry it so you don't get the dripsies, all right, because nobody likes the dripsies. I don't like the dripsies on Peter, no sir. Oh, oh, oh. All right, and then what we're going to do is you guys are going to take that full on, for me it's going to be magenta, but for you guys it might be something else. Whatever you want to place in the top of this sky right here. All right, you're going to grab that pita, and there we go. Watch this. Back and forth, okay? Now, this does not have to be straight, and it does not have to be perfect, okay? Because nothing in the world that's worth it is perfect, okay? And what you guys are going to do is, no one's perfect. We don't like perfect. No siree. So can you guys see that? Just the top of that painting. That color is bright and crisp. Oh, my goodness on my soul. Okay? Now what I'm going to have you guys do. Oh, that's what I did. I forgot that light. Hold on. Now what I'm going to have you guys do is you're going to wrap it around, right? Because a painting is never finished until we paint our top, our sides, and our bottom. But if you guys are painting on an easel, add a little easel weasel, make sure that you don't paint your bottom yet because you're going to get a sticky bottom. Nobody likes a sticky bottom. No siree. No siree. Okay, can you guys see that? Beautiful, that is the top of my sky. Okay, beautiful, crisp and wonderful. She's playing with a Peter, Donna Smith. <laughs> if you have that, you might wanna see a dancer. <laughs> Joe, don't make me laugh. You know what happens when I get laughing. <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. Okay. Now. <laughs> He's so naughty. <laughs> now. <laughs> okay. Now what you guys are going to do is you're going to wash off your pita. Okay. <laughs> wash it off nice and good. <laughs> My father's going to kill me. <laughs> going to dry it off again. <laughs> it's going to be like, daughter. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, I'm going to grab a new pita. And what you guys are going to do next, okay, right, whoop, there we go. <laughs> got a little color in there. What I'm going to have you guys do next is we're going to go right here. Okay, and what we're going to do, you're going to grab that full-on color, whatever it is, the opposite color that you're going to use in the sky, 
and you are going to come down here just like this right we're going to go along that horizon line and watch this Ooh, baby that's right we're bringing her up we're bringing her up by the cop okay and we're going to go up about oh i don't know about two inches now if you guys are using a is that two inches i don't know i don't measure if you guys are using a bigger canvas okay put things into perspective oh and make sure that your canvas is uh this away not this away <laughs> Okay, so just like that. Beautiful. Couple of strokes. We're going left to right. That's all you need to do. Okay, now this is where it gets fun. Oh, baby, baby. Okay, you're going to take Peter, wash him off again, <laughs> dry him off so you don't get the dripsies. Okay. And now we're going to go into our water. All right. Now this is a deal with our water. Our water is lighter than our sky. So what I'm going to have you guys do first is you're going to take your pita. You are going to double dip. Now remember, this is a reflection. Okay. So we've got sky, 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 because it's a reflection. So I'm gonna have you take your pita and you're gonna double dip that color that you just used, I used teal, and in your dirty white, you're gonna put white on the back side. See this? So we've got our teal and our dirty white. Watercolor, dirt, I mean dirty white, yeah, dirty white. <laughs> And you're gonna go right below this horizon line. Okay, right below, put a nice line there. And again, if it is not perfect, don't worry about it because that's what we got the mountains for. Okay, double dip that brush again. And here we go, look at this. All right, we stroke into the left. We stroke into the right. That's right. Stand up, sit down, fight, fight, fight. Jeez, I don't know where that came. That came from one of the uh, synapses in my brain. <laughs> in me high school days. Okay, and now that water is a little too light for me. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull in a little bit more teal. But what you guys want is you want a distinct difference between your water and your sky. Okay, that's why we're pulling in some of that lighter color. And the sky is, I mean, the water is a reflection of the sky, so it's always going to be a little bit lighter. All right, it's not going to be as brilliant. Can you guys see that? Ooh, baby. It looks like, <laughs> I don't even know what it looks like right now. My synapse is a beautiful as, oh, thank you, honey bunny. A good girl. Thank you, Donna Smith. Okay? See that? Wonderful. All right. Now, what I'm going to have you guys do next, okay, is you're going to wash off that Peter again. Peter, Peter, Peter. Pumpkin eater. <laughs> Dry it off so you don't get the dripsies. Take a sip of your coffee so you can keep up with me. Ooh. Oh, I love me some coconut coffee. Nummy. Can I wait? What does that mean? Can I wait? Oh, sure, sure. Absolutely. You know what? I'm going to take two sips of coffee. But you're going to pay for that, Sonora. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't you worry, Miss Sonora. I love that name, by the way. Ooh. Oh. Okay, <laughs> I know I'm a little whoo this morning, I'm sorry, here you go. Sonora, she, there was a song in Beetlejuice, you guys remember this? Shake, 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 Sonora, shake it, butter down. 
I bet you never heard that song before, have you, Sonora Ali? Maybe you have. <laughs> I love your name. Okay, now I'm going to keep going. And the reason that I'm going to keep going, Sonora, is because we need to have this part of it somewhat wet. So our water needs to stay wet while we're doing the next thing. Okay, my love? So what you guys are going to do next is you've got your big pita. You're going to take some of that magenta color or whatever color you choose. And what we're doing is the same technique. Okay? So we got the white and the pink, the white and the magenta. All right, thank you, Karana Mai. You are beautiful, okay? And what we're gonna do, honey, is we're gonna start down here, way at the bottom. And you guys are gonna do the same technique, okay, that you just did at the top in your water, okay? So, and basically, this is a matter of taste. If you guys want your water light, you can do it light. If you want your water darker, you can do it darker. But just remember that the water will always be one hue lighter than that sky, okay? There we go, we're wrapping it around just like this, okay? Back and forth, whoopie doop. We love that. Now, for some of you guys, is it dirty white? Yes, sweet pea. So right now, we are only using our dirty white, okay? So we can get it more dirty. Because <laughs> we love that. <laughs> okay, sweetie? So, and then what you guys are going to do. Okay, you're going to keep on going. Now, this is a thing. Remember how I told you, or if you're first time with me, you probably haven't heard this yet. But when first time painters paint, they're kind of aggressive with that brush. <laughs> Whenever we use that brush, oh, I'm so happy, Dim Noel. I like your name. Merry Christmas. <laughs> So, whenever you use that brush on the canvas, you are going to use it. You're going to gently kiss that canvas with your brush, okay? So, loosen up, right? Take a deep breath. All right, see that? <laughs> and you're going to gently kiss that canvas on your brush. That's how you're going to get that painting. Thank you, Stacy. That's how you guys are going to get that paint right on that canvas, okay? So again, I'm double dipping my uh, magenta and my white. So I got magenta and white, and I'm taking a deep breath and watch this, okay? I don't just stop when I get to that one, okay? I don't just stop when I get to that, uh, what do you call this? The other color, no. I'm gonna take that brush and I'm gonna gently work that pink right into my, what do you call this, teal. Okay, look at that. Look, ooh, what? Okay, because that's what happens in the real world. When two colors come together, they blend, all right? Now, what I'm gonna do now that I brought that color up, okay, I'm going to take a tiny bit of white, just stroke it in here for now because we're going to add a bunch of highlights later. Okay, so don't worry, this isn't your water. This is just the beginning of your water. Okay, look at that. Boom. How exciting is that? Boom, chuck a lucka. I know. I know. Okay, I'll bring a little white in there. Look at that. All right, and there we go. Okay, you guys, look at this. Here's my water. Look at that. All right, there's my water. All right. Now, 
what I am going to have you guys do next. Now remember, that's not our final water. That's just the base, the foundation of that water until we bring in those subtle highlights of color that are gonna make it blend, okay? All right, you guys. So, what you're gonna do next, you're gonna take your pita, you're gonna wash her off, and don't worry about making this perfect, you guys, okay? Don't focus a ton of time on this yet. I love you too, Amy Lad. <laughs> okay, because in the end, we are gonna pull this off and we're gonna make it gorgeous. This is just the foundation, all right? What do we do with the foundation? We build upon it. <laughs> okay, now, what I'm gonna have you guys do next is we are gonna go back right into the sky. You see that white patch? Oh, good Lord, we can't leave that naked. So what I'm gonna have you do you guys are gonna take a little bit of this color, whatever it is, and a little bit of that dirty white, okay? So this color and your dirty white. And you're not thinking, all you're doing, okay, is you're bringing it up like this. All right. Redipping my brush, that's all I'm doing. I'm re-dipping my little thing here. I need a little bit more dirty white. And I'm going to bring this color down into here. Look at that. Because what I don't want to have happen is I don't want to have any white showing on my canvas. No siree. Okay? Look at that. Can you see that? There we go. Ooh, it's so getting pretty. Okay, so a little bit of tea, uh, magenta, dirty white. We're filling in this hole for now. Look at that. I'm not making perfect lines. Look, I'm making it like a real sky. All right, no perfect lines in my world. And then I'm going to bring it up into the sky. Look at this. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, oh, shaky, shaky. Okay. Nice, gentle touches. So those colors go on there. Look at that. Woo! I tell you what. I'm ready to sail and see this beautiful sky. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> okay. There we go. And there. So, when you guys are all done, now again, this is the foundation, okay? And your foundation should look like your version of this, okay? I'm going to show you close. Your version of this. All right? All right? She is not perfect. I love you, Joe Hill. <laughs> I make it seem easy. A beer. Let me tell you, my love. It is not easy. This is me after, you know, 20 years of painting and, and seven years of teaching, girl. It is never, ever easy. Okay, my love? But what you want to remember is, um, I mean, I paint in my sleep. <laughs> I've done thousands of these over the years. So if I make it look easy, it's only because, honey, I just do it. But when you're first starting out, okay, this is what I tend to see with folks whenever they're blending a sky is that they stop. They go one line, then they stop. And it looks like a pack of lifesavers. But what I want you to remember, uh, Najuna, yes, honey, it is going to be on my Facebook page, my YouTube channel. Don't you worry, sweet pea, okay? You go to your meeting and it will be ready for you, honey. Um, drink some. <laughs> what does that mean, Kathy Gray? <laughs> oh, goodness. Hi, Debbie Moon. Um, so what I mean by that is you have to remember that when you're doing a sky, okay, tonight what I want you to do is go outside and look at a sunset. 
Because when you paint a sky, it's light. And light is never perfect, okay? You never have one line, then another, then another. It's not like that. So remember to make your lines jagged. Blend them in, okay? Don't do just one color, then another. Cross over those transition lines, except for here, all right? This is the only place that you don't want to cross over your transition lines. All right, now... What we're going to do, we're going to take our handy dandy hair dryer. And if you don't have one of those at home, you guys can give it the flap noodle. All right? My famous flap noodle. Right? Here we go. Swap my flies. Swap my flies. <laughs> and we're going to dry off this entire sky. Just like this. going to make this sucker interesting okay what I'm going to have you guys do is I'm going to have you grab well no, you know what where can I catch up says Kathy Gray um what does that mean honey bunches uh catch up flap noodle oh um so once this is all over okay once I finish up with you guys today and, and it's going to go immediately on my Facebook page. What happens then is you guys have that pause and rewind feature. That will be available. It won't be during the show, but after. So, there you go. So, if you guys can't catch up, just enjoy the show. And you can do it later. How you like that? Huh? Yeah, that's a bonus. <laughs> Drink so I can. I wish I could, Kathy, because, you know, I got to tell you. I got my littles tonight, so. <laughs> but you better be drinking for me tonight. <laughs> okay. Now, now that this is all dry, this is where we can have some fun, okay? So what I'm going to have you guys do next, you're going to take our pita, and you guys are going to double dip him in the teal color or whatever color you choose, okay? And you can grab a little bit of that dirty white, okay? Teal and dirty white. All right, now watch this. What I'm gonna do, now that we got Pinky Tuscadero, I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna bring it in, look. And I'm not thinking about it, okay? I'm just working it in in different places. Look, nice gentle touches in different places. Look at that, always on the side. I love doing it on the side. Okay, whoops, I'm sorry, I'm off camera. Here you go. So all I'm doing is I'm taking a little bit of that teal. Now I went a little cray cray on my side. So I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna bring a little pink and white. Look, work that in, okay? But this is where you guys are going to have fun with this guy. This is where you create, okay? Because creating is the name of the game. All right? Now look, I brought a little bit of that light blue in there. Look at that. Okay? Wash off that brush because you don't want to get a purple or a mixture of those two colors. So we got a teal and a little bit of white on the end here. Look at this. Teal and white and this is where I'm just gonna pull it in just a little bit through here a couple of places nice gentle touches break up that sky boop, 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 boop. all right make a happy little sky okay look and there you go just a few spots right we're not going crazy we are not going crazy I'm gonna take a little teal and white on my brush all right, teal, 
Teal? Teal? Oh, looks like I missed the teal. Thank God I checked it on the camera. <laughs> Ooh, teal and white. Okay, and I'm going to make it come along this transition line just like this right down here so I don't have that full-on bright teal on my transition. Okay, look at that. Just a little poop poop. All right, and then I'm going to decide... Where do I want some of that other color? Well, we broke up our pink with a little bit of teal and white. Let's grab a little bit of pink and a little bit of dirty white on that brush. Pink, dirty white. And we'll come down here a couple places. Look, whoop, woo. Okay, bring that in there. That's all right, right? Our sky is not gonna be perfect. It's gonna be full of light. It's gonna be full of energy and babuchka. Okay, so I'll bring a little pink down there. Why? Because I'm feeling like it. All right, see that? Nice gentle touches. I'm gonna take a little bit of that full on teal. Look, look, I'm gonna bring some up here. Why? Because I can, it's my world, right? It's my perfect world. There we go, break her up. All right, look at that. Oh, look, oh, that's exciting. And the colors that I chose, they complement each other. That's the cool part, is that they complement each other. Now notice how I'm not adding any badubadubas over here. Okay, right here in this section, because that's where our sun is gonna go. All right, but this is how it works. You guys are okay to do whatever it is that makes your heart happy in this painting. All right? There's that. All right. Now we work on our sky. Now we're going to work on our water. We're going to bring some cool stuff in there, right? We got to. <laughs> so for our water, what I'm gonna have you guys do, we're gonna put down our pita and we're gonna grab our medium brush, all right? Our medium brush, what are we gonna call this guy? I don't know what we're gonna call him. We're gonna call him Gilligan. <laughs> Mr. Gilligan, okay. Now, if you guys were playing at home, okay? And you're like, oh, I hate this. Oh, oh, I added too much, blah, 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 blah. That happens. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna let your sky dry 100%. And then you're gonna go back and reverse paint. Bring in whatever color you took away in the in-betweenies, okay? So don't worry because you can never mess this up. That's the beauty of art. You can never mess it up. Okay, so make sure that you let it dry and you do a little reverse painting if you went a little cray cray with your highlighting. Okay, no worries. All right, now what I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm going to come down into my water. All right, and again, the water is always a little bit lighter. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double dip my Gilligan. Hey, you doing Gilligan? That's right. Okay, with a little bit of pink and a little bit of white. And very gently, I'm gonna come in my water. Right, add a little bit of that. Wipe off my brush and just work it in just a little. Just a little, not a lot. Okay, just a few little doodads in there. Beautiful, look at that. Bringing some life, bringing some color in. Okay? And that's the end. That's the end of this for now because what we're gonna add to the water later is gonna be reflection of what we create. Okay, so for now, this is what we get for our background. All right, baby, here we go. Okay, now, 
what I am going to have you guys do next is you are going to create a light gray. All right? And a light gray is simply on your paint plate. Well, it's not going to be a light gray. It's going to be a medium gray. We're going to add some white. And we're going to add a tiny bit of black. Because what happens? That black is naughty, right? He loves to travel. So you guys are gonna mix this white and this black together, just like this. Now we don't, if I said we want a medium gray, we don't. We want a darker gray. We want a gray that is two hues lighter than black, okay? And I'll show you what it looks like when we're all done. All right, I'll show you what look like we're all done getting it. There we go. Okay, see this? That's what we're looking for, right there. This little heba dooba, dooba da bop bop ba da ba. Ooh. Okay, we're looking for this color gray. And what you guys are gonna do next is you're gonna take your little gilligan. You're gonna, whoops, don't pop the head off like I just did. Poor little buddy. <laughs> okay, don't do that. All right, you're gonna take your other Gilligan. <laughs> Mama had a baby and a head popped off. <laughs> okay? And you guys are gonna squeeze him out. All right, dip him in the water, that little Gilligan, you squeeze him out. So he's nice and flat like this. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I'm going to poke out your eyeball. Oh, chicka, 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 chicka. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so he's nice and flat, just like that, okay? And what you guys are going to do next is you're going to take that gray and you're going to go, remember how we created this little horizon line? Well, we're going to go right below this horizon line just like this all right we're gonna go right below that caca line all the way across now you guys do want this to be straight because this is your actual horizon line so let me show you okay look at that there it is You've got that gray and it goes right below your horizon line. Now I can't tell if this is because <laughs> my painting is a little funky. There we go, look at that. Okay, beautiful. Now, what we're gonna do next is you guys are going to create your mountain range okay see all these look at that mountain range and you're letting it go why did i paint that gray well the reason you guys painted this gray was because you want to be able to see your boat in the front all right so there we go see that gorgeous okay now what I'm going to have you guys do next is you're not going to think about this, but you are going to carve out your mountain range that is unique to you. Now, everybody lives in a different world. I live in the Northeast. My mountains look much different than they do in other places, okay? But the biggest thing that you guys are going to remember is no Sally the Camel had five humps. Mumps, uh, humps, mumps, <laughs> bumps, lady lumps are all different. Mountains are all different. There's, some of them are tall, some of them are short. So what I'm going to have you guys do, start off over here and look at this. We're going to carve out our mountains. Here's my first one, okay? And then I'm going to come in with my second one. Ooh, doo -doo 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 He's a little raggedy daggedy doo doo. All right. See that? 
Now, because I raggedy daggedy doo doo that guy, I don't want them to be even. So there's my second one. Okay. We're going to come down here. We're going to give myself just a little boop boop. There we go. Whoop, whoop. Raggedy jaggedy him. What? Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. There's that one. All right. Beautiful. That's right. Thank you, Maria Morris. You're beautiful, honey. Thank you. Okay. And now I'm going to come up. This guy, maybe we'll make him a little taller. Why? Because... Because his little neighbor was shorter. There we go. There's that guy. Okay. And this guy, he's going to just be a little poo-poo. He's going to be a tiny little itty-bitty. Right there. Right? Look at him. Oh, he's going to be a little itty-bitty. Right? And then we're going to come up. Well, maybe we'll make this guy a little taller. Oh, look. He's going to be funky. He gonna be a funky monkey mountain. Woo! We don't want to climb him on a bad day. Woo the Buddha. Okay. <laughs> and there is my entire mountain range. I've carved it out. All right. And I'm gonna look back and I'm gonna say, Ooh, are any of these mountains even? Ooh, this guy and this guy are. So for me, I can't stand that. So here we go. We're gonna give him a little something, something over here. So he's not even with his body. Okay? His, his little mountain friend. There. Look at that. It's that simple, you guys. All right? And this is the beauty of it. Because everybody's painting going to be different. You know what I'm saying? So there you go. You're going to carve out those gorgeous mountains. Just like that. And then you're going to grab your pita. And take that gray, and we're going to paint in our mountains, just like this. Okay, that gray that you made. I always kind of like to poke them, because it gives them just a tiny bit of, what do you call that? Tiny bit of, uh, oh, I don't know what the word is. I can't think of it. But, you know, a little texture on those mountains. So, what I gotta do is I gotta make some more gray because I ran out. There we go. Boom, bada, boom, bada. Keep it the same color. And look at this. I'm just gonna poke them in and paint my mountains. Okay? Make sure I go along the top of that line so that I don't go over my horizon line. Look at that. Boom, bada, boo. Just like that. So I gave myself a little barrier so I didn't go below it. And watch this. Pokey, pokey, pokey. Pokey them smoky mountains out, right? Do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. There we go. Look at that. Oh, goodness, this is fun. Huh? Nothing I like better than a good poking. I like a poking a lot. Okay, there's that. There's this. Woo! And there's that. Okay. Whoops, I went a little pokerific over there. So what I'm gonna do, grab my little medium brush. I'm gonna poke out this one again. What? Ooh, do 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 do. Okay, I don't wanna get too pokerific. Yeah, look at that. Boom, look at those mountains. Boom, chuck a texture. Thank you, Debbie Moon. I love ya. That's the beauty of working with you beautiful people. You always, you always got me. You got my back. Texture, honey, that's what I'm talking about. See that? Just gives it a little something, something when we poke. Okay? And yes, you guys, I mean, we have 74 people on here now. Usually I got about three or 400. Yes, because we had to do it early because I got my littles. So you can always get the replay. And the reason why, I was going to do this one on Sunday night. But, I mean, uh, Monday night. 
But I said to myself, well, if I do it on Monday night, you guys aren't going to have anything to paint this weekend, right? So <laughs> that's why I'm so early today, so that you guys can have something to paint on the replay, okay? So you'll go, oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, we've poked out our mountains. Guess what time it is? Oh. It's time for those beautiful clouds, okay? Because, let me show you how those look. And this is why we didn't spend a tremendous amount of time on our background. Because we're bringing in clouds, we're bringing in sun, okay? See that? Beautiful. So, what I do want you guys to do before we do your clouds is I want you to carve out your sun, okay? This can be a big sun. This can be a little sun. This can be, you know, it's your world. But this is the deal, okay? Whenever you make a circle, um, a perfect circle, it always grows. <laughs> It always does. Even me. It always does. So start off with a smaller sun because you can always make it bigger, but you can never make it smaller. Okay? So start off with a nice small sun or a smaller sun, and then you can grow it. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my little itty bitty. We can call this ginger. Right? You guys remember Ginger? She was a redhead on the, on the Gilligan's Island. <laughs> so we're going to grab this itty bitty. And you guys are going to grab this white from your clean white. Not your dirty white. So this is the first time we're going to be using our clean white pile. Okay? Now your sun is going to be in this area over here. So what I'm going to have you guys do is, here we go. Now I'm doing this on camera, but notoriously what happens is mine isn't perfect. And I'm not looking at it while I'm showing you. All right. So. There we go. There's my son. Okay. Can you guys see that? Beautiful. Look at that. Whoopie, scoopy. Okay, let me look at it. See, I told you. Whenever I show you guys, it looks like a big fat little, little circle. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to round this out a little bit. There we go. Because I want my son to look round, not like a dinosaur egg. All right, there we go. Okay, so there's my son. And what you, your husband loved Gilligan's Island? <laughs> well, glad. I'm so glad. I'm glad. You remember, little buddy? <laughs> Hi, Sherry Lynn Oswald. I know, baby. I try to behave. You know how I am. I'm a little naughty. <laughs> Okay, now what you guys are going to do is you're going to grab your, yeah, medium brush. Go grab Gilligan, right? We'll watch a replay. You got that, baby. You got it, Cherry Hill Height. You got it, sweet bug. Oh, Cherry Height. Cherry. Is it Cherry? Cherry Height? Tall Cherry Tree. Nice. <laughs> okay. Now, what you guys are going to do next is you're going to grab that little brush. Okay, your medium brush, your Gilligan. Grab Gilligan. Grab him by the, grab him. He never had a beard. I don't think he ever grew any facial hair. How did that happen when he lived on the island? I don't know. So, what you're going to do is you guys are going to... Paint in this sun with white for now. We're going to paint it in a circular motion because every time we paint a sphere, we paint it in a circular motion, right? Woo, look at that. 
Ooh, we're running around the racetrack. Uh oh, you better catch Gilligan. Ooh, okay, just like this. There we go. See that? Boom, Bubba. And there you go. For now, it's white. Okay? And now you know where that sun is positioned in the sky. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay? And what we are going to do next, you guys got that sun in there. Now we can create those clouds up in the sky. Okay? And you guys can create as many or as few of these clouds as makes your heart happy. Look at those little bias. I want a little I went a little cloud crazy on this painting, but you can add a few. You can add, you know, it's your world. So, what we're going to do to create clouds is you are going to turn Gilligan into a pecker, all right? A woodpecker, all right? And what's a woodpecker do? Right? It's a woodpecker. So, <laughs> this is the technique. <laughs> this is the technique that you're going to use with this brush, okay? Now, you want your medium brush to be a soft brush. If it's not soft, you're going to have pecker lines, and you don't want that, okay? You want to be able to take this brush and smash it. So, if you got a soft brush, use your softest one. You don't want any brush with hard bristles because we're going to be pecking fairly hard. Okay? So first thing you guys are going to do is, see, look at that. See what I did with my end? And that's okay, you know? We're going to really peck hard. You guys are going to take a little bit of white on the end, okay? Just like this. And then you're going to tap, 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 tap on your plate to get most of that paint off your brush. Okay, you want just a little bit of paint on that brush. If you have a tablecloth, you can tap, tap, tap on your tablecloth to get most of that paint on, off your brush. All right? And here we go. Here comes me first cloud in the sky. Okay, so watch this. The reason that we do this technique is because it makes our clowns fluffy. All right? My, my favorite technique. All right? But if you've got a better technique for clouds, you do it. All right, here we go. Ready? Right? Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I can't do that that well. All right, see that? And you notice that I am not adding more paint to this brush because what makes my cloud fluffy is having very little paint on this brush. Okay? And you guys can do whatever shape or size that you want to do. Here's my first one. All right? Here's my first one. And when you do these clouds, okay, you guys are going to use your clean white. All right, for this? Because we don't want any ooby goobies in there yet until we put them in there. All right, so there's my first cloud. Boop, 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 boop. I'm going to add a little more down here, right? Because I like it to extend. Oh, maybe I'll give it a little fat gut down there, right? Oh, nice. Okay, that's it. There's my first one. Now I'm going to load up my brush again with that clean white. Tap, tap, tap on my plate to get most of that off. Look at my brush. It's all frayed and crazy. And here we go. Here's cloud number two. And you guys are going to have it be whatever shape you want to. You want to put dinosaur in that sky? You go for it. You want to put, put a little Piccadilly in there? You go for it. It's your world. Okay? There's number two. Look at that. Woody Woodpecker. Pecker clouds is what I call these. Nothing wrong with a little Pecker cloud. Okay? Boom. Look at this guy. 
Woohoo! That's right. All right. And the thing is, the only thing that you do never, never, ever want to do with clouds is create patterns. Okay. And I always got to check myself so I don't wreck myself. You never want to create patterns. So all of your clouds are going to be different. All right. All of them are going to be different sizes, different shapes. Our brain naturally tries to teach us to do things in patterns, but we don't want to do that in clouds because clouds don't follow a pattern, right? There we go. Beautiful. And I'm not going to go as peckerific in this one as I did in my first one. I'm just going to add another cloud right here and probably call it good. Okay, we'll put another little guy right here. Ooh, yeah. Okay, he only gonna get one thing on the order of that. Oh, he gonna get one thing on the side. We're gonna stretch him out. Ooh, I love it. That's right. I'm gonna call this one the sperm clown. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. <laughs> okay, look at this guy. Right? Ooh. Yeah. All right. Oh, I feel a little naked over that sun. All right. I changed my mind. We'll add another one over there. But this is the thing about when you guys create, okay? You can change your mind. Somebody asked me again today for a, uh, oh, what's that thing called where you trace it? Uh, traceable. No. No. <laughs> never. <laughs> okay. You never want to, I mean, that's okay if you guys use those. I am so not against them. But what I'm trying to do is get you guys to learn how to create, okay? And if you have a traceable, it's like a paint by number. And, you know, it's just not me. But you know what? If that's what you feel comfortable with, then you, abs I mean, you know what I mean? I'm not saying I'm right or they're wrong or anything. But, you know, if, if that's what you feel like you need to create, that's okay. You get those traceables. But I just don't offer them, okay? Because, look, I couldn't change my mind if I had a traceable. All right? So here we go. And that's okay. Some people, for them, art is more about having it concise and perfect and look like the original artist. That's okay. That's all right if that's your version of art. And that's all right, right? There's nothing wrong with that. But we're going to add another one in there. Okay, look at that. Oh, beautiful, you guys. Look at those peckerific clouds. Now, to give those clouds more depth and dimension, all right, what I'm going to have you do is take your little pecker and you're going to dip a little bit of... See that? Just a little bit of pink on the end. And this is while it's still wet, okay? So while it's still wet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap a little bit of that pink in the bottom of my cloud. Okay? Look at that. See that? And what that does is that gives that cloud a little bit of depth and dimension. Can you see that? All right, so take a tiny bit of pink on your brush, do the same thing, or, or whatever color you're using for your sky, do the same thing. You're going to tap, 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 get most of that paint off, all right, and just add it to the bottom of that cloud. Just peck her in, just a little bit, just a little bit, okay? Tap, 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 get most of that off. Look at this. Woo, bring it right in there. Bring it right in there, right? Load that cloud up. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, we're going to do that to each one of them. Grab a little bit of pink on that brush. Tap, tap, tap. Bring it into the bottom. We're going to fill that cloud up. Okay, with beauty. Dip. Oh, yeah. See that? Oh, oh, I like that, Nicole. I see it. I see it, girl. It's coming. Okay. And then I'm going to do it to the last one. 
Jab that paint, tap, 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 bring her right in. Bring her right into the bottom. Look at that. Fill that cloud up with love and, and humidity. See that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, while your pink is still wet, you're going to grab that brush, wipe it off on your paper towel. Don't clean it. Grab your pickup. Grab a tiny bit of white on there. Okay, it's going to be a lighter pink when you tap it out. And there you go. You're going to go over it just like this. Okay, there. Because you want to make sure that that pink isn't blending into the background, okay? So grab a little white, blending that cloud into the background. Tap a little bit of white on the top and in the middle. Okay, bring that cloud in, look. Ooh, nothing I love better than a little peck of cloud. I'm telling you what. Reminds me of like a nice soft toilet tissue commercial, <laughs> okay? <laughs> bring a little bit of that white on top, see? Okay, so that we add a little something something to that clown, right? Yeah, bring a little down in there. Well, we pecked in the pink. Look at that. Oh, yeah. See that? All right. So these two have, I've added white to these two. Well, I added white. Oh, yeah. Okay. To this one and this one. All right. Now, you can even try this, okay? Grab a little of that second color on your brush. Grab a little teal. See how this works, look. Ooh, maybe you wanna add a little bit of that in the bottom of your cloud. That's kind of fun too, huh? Look at that. Break her up a little. See that? There's the teal, all right? So again, you guys play with these clouds. Make them your own. Make them exciting. This is just a basic pecker cloud technique, okay? I call it Nicole's Peckerific Clouds, all right? And the more you play with these and the more you peck them and re-peck them, the more that you're going to fall in love with them, okay? That's right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, I'm going to add a little teal on this one. Why? Because I feel like it. Look at that. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, that's exciting. Look at that. Oh, I like the teal better than the pink. Look at that. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I know everybody. That's okay, you guys. Don't you worry, okay? Like I said, the reason I did this at this time was so that I could have you guys paint this weekend. Because unfortunately, this weekend, I got my littles, my nephews and nieces all weekend. So, see that? Beautiful, you guys. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love clouds. Gosh, they turn my crank. Okay, and then my final thing, I'm going to do this guy over here. Look at this. Add a little, oh, got a little bit of teal on there. That's okay. All right, but you want those clouds to stand out against that sky, okay? And there you go. Look at that. Oh, it looks like I got a stegosaurus. I love it. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. Look at that sky. Now it is starting to come together, isn't it, my friends? Yes, it is. Okay. Now, the last thing that I'm going to have you guys do before halftime, okay, is I'm going to have you take this guy, all right, clean him off so that there's nothing on him, all right? He's nice and clean, and he's nice and flat. Now, if you guys feel more comfortable using your little ginger for this, you can do that, but if you feel like you can make a nice straight line with this guy, then you do that, okay? And what we're going to do is I'm going to have you guys take a little bit of white on this guy, a tiny bit of white, and 
a tiny bit of that teal. So what you can do is if you need to, you can go into your dirty white and pick up a little bit of white and just a tiny bit of teal, not much. All right, you can barely see my teal. That's what I want, okay? And what I'm gonna do on either side of my sun is I'm gonna take this brush and I'm just gonna wisp, okay? And these need to be straight lines, all right? Because what this is, and if you go into your sun, that's okay. We still haven't brought the yellow in, all right? But what this is, is we're creating that beautiful light reflecting out of that sun. Look at that, all right? Same with down here, and you always want to, when you're creating these little boughs of light, you always want to follow that straight horizon line, okay? Don't get your little your little doodos going diagonally, because then it'll look wanky, okay? So follow that straight horizon line. Look at this. Ooh, yeah, ooh, nice bracelet action. Okay, you can go right over that sun if you need to. And we're just bringing in these little rays of light off that sun. Okay, see this? And as I said, if you guys feel like you need to, use your little brush, use your little brush. Okay, we're bringing in some here. All right. We're gonna bring some in over here. Ooh, baby, what's this? This is the rays of that sunshine. Right, shooting out. Shooting out, just like a little water spout. Look at that, ooh, rays of light. Okay, see that? Yeah, baby, give me some of that light. Woo, look at what, fight, fight, give me some light. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my painting doesn't match my hair colors. I love it. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Oh, you guys are great. All right. And we're going to add just a few of these up at the top. Okay, that is my bracelet being wanky on my canvas. Don't worry. Okay, just like that. So we're just bringing it. Looks like I went a little cray cray on the top. So all I have to do. Take a little of that pink, look at this, whoops. Flatten out that brush, look, bring it in. Look, there comes the pink, wow, look at that. There comes a little bit of pink, bringing that pink back in, okay? It's that simple, you guys, look. See that? Nice, nice, everybody. And it looks like I forgot a corner. So I'm gonna grab a little white there. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, bring a little down here. And there, nothing too elaborate, okay? You don't want it to stand out in your painting. You don't want it to look different than the rest, okay? But you do wanna show that fun light that's coming off that sun, okay? So you don't want it to stand out too much, but you do want to show that crazy reflection of that sunlight. Okay? There you go. Now, actually, I said you guys could have half time. Oh, hello, Lulu Maynard. Hello, Peggy Simmons. Oh, you're the one that says my thing matches my hair. Thank you. <laughs> you guys got my bed head this morning. How you like it? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay, so Lulu, don't you worry, honey. I wanted to make sure I got this in so that you guys could paint it this weekend whenever you wanted to, okay? Because I can't be there this weekend. I got my little. So I wanted to make sure that you guys had a chance to paint this weekend. So that's why I'm doing it now. But it's always going to be there for you. You know it, my love. All right? Now... What I'm going to have you guys do next, okay? You're going to take this medium brush. You're going to grab some white and grab some yellow, okay? On your paint plate. And you guys are going to make a nice buttercream color. However, if you guys want a full-on 
bright yellow sun, then you use bright yellow, okay? If you want that full on bright yellow sun, you use bright yellow. If not, what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna tone it down with a little white, make a nice buttercream, all right? Then we're gonna come in into the sun and we're gonna take that buttercream or whatever color you guys choose and we're gonna bring it around town just like this. Whenever we paint that sphere, we always want to paint it in a circular direction. Look at that. So watch this. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, there we go. All right. And you're going to bring it around. And you're going to bring it around like this. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Now, I'm going to leave the belly button of my son white. Because what I want to do is I'm going to grab a tiny bit of white on my brush. I wiped off that yellow. I'm grabbing a tiny bit of white and I'm bringing it in the center. And I'm working it out just like this. Okay. Not, not enough. There. Yeah, look at that. Boom, bada, boom, bada. Okay. A little bit of white in the center. There we go. Ooh. Work it in, in a circular motion. Okay, look at that. Beautiful. You don't want that white to look different than the rest. You want it to blend, but you just want it to be a little bit lighter in the, in the center. Okay, just like that. There you go. And there's your sun. Now, okay, this is gonna be the last thing for halftime, I promise. <laughs> I promise. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to have you guys do, all right, is you guys are going to take that same buttercream that you just made, all right? So you're going to take buttercream on one side, a little bit of white on the other, and this is your pecker brush, okay? So make sure your pecker brush is nice and whatever you want to call it, so that it's nice and usable. And what we're going to do is every place the light touches on these beautiful mountains, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you, again, tap, tap, tap on your plate so you don't have too much. And you're just going to pack some light on the edges of these mountains. Every place that light touches. Can you see that? Okay. Not perfect. Now this guy is underneath, so it's definitely going to touch him. All right, right on the edges. Okay, buttercream, a little bit of white, tap, tap, tap. Here we go. Okay, so right along those edges. And make sure, you guys, that it's not perfect. Because remember, light is not perfect, is it? It's wanky and it goes in creases. See that? Not perfect light, just light. All right? Now I'm going to come up here because that light is going to touch this little, little itty bitty right there. All right? Need a little bit more yellow on there. I'm going to touch the tip of that, right? Okay, we'll bring a little up there. And then we're gonna go to the next mountain. And here we go. Ooh, he's gonna touch a little bit of that, isn't it? It's gonna reach some of that. See that? Top of that mountain. All right. And last thing up here. Look, we're gonna give this guy a little, little, little bit of light on his world. Okay. There. See that? So just a tiny bit. Oh, honey. Thank you, Karaman. Karamia. My Karamaya. Oh, girl, my pronunciation is bad, but you know I'm talking to you. <laughs> there you go, guys. Look at that. All right. Now, with that, you beautiful party people. 
I am going to give you a three-minute halftime, okay? Oh, look at that. Maybe I need to wash my hands. Okay. <laughs> Siri Hamsini. Siri Sri Hamsini. Sri Hamsini? Sri Hamsini. All right. Good. Well, thank you, my love. Beautiful. I hope I got it good. I see it. I see it. Sri Hamsini. Come see me. Yeah. Cool. Sri. Sri? All right. All right, you guys. I will see you in three minutes, okay? Get up, stretch your bones, grab a cup of coffee, grab a little scooby snack. Ooh, it's almost lunchtime, okay? And I'll see you guys in three minutes. All right. Three minutes. <laughs> it was quick. I know it was. <laughs> you could call me Sri if you want to. All right. That works for me, beautiful. Good. Sri it is. So, yes, you guys, I'm giving you a quick half time today. I still have to... I still have to baby-proof my house and go grocery shopping for my little minions this weekend. <laughs> I can't wait. So, halftime speech, okay? Um, again, you guys know I absolutely love it. I love it when you send me your pictures. But what I've done is I have created a um, Facebook group for you guys on my Facebook page. And right at the top of the page, right, Artful Nights Maine with artist Nicole White on my Facebook page, I have created, uh, so you basically have three, you have like three or four little words. And one of them is events, which you can click on and see all the upcoming events, which is beautiful. 
The other one says group. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to invite 50 to 60 to 100 of you guys a day, but Facebook puts limits on me. Okay, and, and the, so what you do is you click on that group link and then join the Artful Nights May Silly Artist Nicole's Artist Group. And basically what you guys can do is you can post all of your paintings there. All right, and that way everybody that paints with me gets to communicate with everybody else. So I love being the point person for you guys, but this is a way for you guys to connect, all right, and show each other all your beautiful artwork. So if you haven't joined the group, please do. It's Artful Nights Main, uh, Silly Artist Nicole, and all you gotta do is hit that little group link at the top of my page, okay? I think the other, one, other thing says, service I don't know what it says but anyways look for the group link right at the top and if you guys want to still send them to me I love it I go on the group page all the time and I look at all of them there too but if you still want to send them to me send them to me directly and I still post them on my page and I share them with the group and you can do that through messenger I love it I just love it because you guys make my heart so happy when I see your artwork. Oh my gosh, what a gift. That's my gift, okay? Um, and um, Jen White, what is the best way to send you a donation? Okay, so um, if you guys want to send me a tip, okay, um, there is a uh, tip link right at the top here. Let me, let me, I can post that right now. Here we go. Comments and paste and there and and what what, what what oh pin the comment there you go okay so there is you know this is a tip link you guys do not have to tip me it is not required um, again during COVID I gave these shows because. I want you guys to have the opportunity to have some joy, all right? This is my gift to you. If you have a beautiful time and you'd like to send me a tip and you can afford to, fabulous. If not, it's okay. Art is for everybody, okay? But that's how you do it, right there. There's a tip link. And the next thing I'm going to tell you is starting next Sunday, we go back to our Sunday fun day. 7 o'clock, Sunday night, next Sunday night, okay? And this is what we're painting. Parada than a peacock. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Look at this guy. Isn't he beautiful? Now, I do believe this guy is going to take probably about... Yeah, a little over the two hours. But if you notice, what I did was I brought in some of that metallic gold paint in this one. Now, if you can get it at your local craft store or your local Walmarts, get some metallic gold paint, right? Because it just gives it a little, ooh, look at that, shine. If you can't, that's all right. You can just use yellow. Okay, so no worries. You don't have to have the metallic gold, but sometimes it's fun to work with something different. You know what I'm saying? So there we go. Next Sunday, we're going to be prouder than a peacock. Woohoo! <laughs> so that one's 7 o'clock Sunday night. All right, now let's do this. Let's do this sailing ship. Okay, so the next thing, we've got our beautiful sky all finished we got our sun we got our mountains now the next thing that we have to do okay is you guys are gonna grab your medium brush that's right we're gonna grab gilligan our little buddy hello little buddy <laughs> okay and what i'm gonna have you guys do is you're gonna take some of that buttercream on the end of that medium brush. We're using it nice and flat. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in this beautiful reflection in the water, okay? Right below your sun. All right, so here we go. You're gonna, now again, 
when we're bringing in reflection into the water, you got to make sure that you follow that horizon line. Otherwise, what's going to happen is you guys are going to, it's going to look wanky. So it's always got to follow that horizon line. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take a little bit of that buttercream and right below this sun, we're going to bring in a little bit of buttercream, just like this. Okay, can you see that? All right, we're going to go all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, through the pink, through it all. Okay. Bringing in that beautiful buttercream. All right, here we go. Oh, she's getting good, she's getting nice. Okay, bringing it all the way to the bottom like this. Ooh, yeah, okay. And all I'm doing is just wisp, 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 wisp. But you want to make sure, like I noticed, some of these I made too even. And again, that's not how light works. Okay? So you don't want that straight line. You just want to make some of them longer than the others. Okay? So now there goes my buttercream. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up that same brush. Okay? But this time, I'm loading it up with white all right so i've got my medium brush i'm loading it up with white it's nice and flat like this oh watch out okay <laughs> and here we go in the in betweenies we're gonna put some white in between these lines look at this okay and again make some of them longer some of them shorter all right, look at this. Yee-haw! Little bit of white on the in-betweenies, just like this. Okay? Here we go. Ooh, baby, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. Okay? And there, look. Look at that beautiful reflection of love and light. See that? There you go. Okay, and that is that beautiful light glistening off that sun. It goes all the way down. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Yes, it is. Okay, look at this. Here we go. Can you guys see that? Beautiful. Okay, Nicole, thanks so much. Oh, wow, the peacock is gorgeous. Thank you. Good girl. Thanks so much. Finish later. Had fun. All right, Deb McLean. Have to pick up my little. No worries, sweetie. It'll be available to you. Okay? And once you get that light in, now it's time... All right, maybe I'll put a little more white in my sun. Why? Just because I feel like it. All right, just a little bit more. Round her out a little bit, okay? Now it's time to um, start the sailboat. <laughs> I sent it to my dad. I said, Dad, all right, what do you think? Do you love this sailboat? How did I do, Mr. Critical? And he said, oh, much better. <laughs> so here we go. Okay. Now, on your sailboat, okay, the first thing that we're going to do, this is why we didn't concern ourselves so much with this water, because really this sailboat is going to take up so much of this, okay? So what I'm going to have you do, everybody's going to grab their little ginger to carve out this sailboat, all right? So here we go, we're gonna start off with the black. And first thing that you guys are gonna do, you're gonna go up about this much, okay? Kind of where the pink uh, meets the um, blue, okay? 
And here we go. We're going to create just a straight line, just like this. Straight line. All right. And my guess is that is going to be, oh, I don't even know how many inches. Okay. Straight line. There we go. All right. Straight black line. I'm going to straighten this out so that you guys can see that this line is straight. It follows that horizon. Okay, and it almost goes from halfway, but you are going to leave some space on the outer edge. See that? Ooh, straight line. Okay, here we go. Now, what you're going to do next, you're going to create this. All right, a little curve over here. Boom, bada, boom, bada on one side. And then the back side, you're going to go in like this. Okay? So the back side is going to come around like that. Can you see that? All right. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to connect the two together all the way from this side to this side and basically what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to have you draw out this sailboat first this is where you guys would grab your pencil and your ruler if you felt the need okay there we go that's the foundation Okay, beautiful. Now, what you guys are going to do next is you're going to come in, okay, right about here, right about there. See that? And you're going to draw, I don't know what this is exactly, but it's part of a sailboat. So it's kind of like a little cabin on the inside of the sailboat. Or the, what do you call it? The, oh, I don't know. You'd think I'd know more because my dad built boats, but I don't. He needs to take me out sailing more. Be less critical. Okay. Ha, <laughs> ah, needs to take a dot out sailing more. All right, there we go. Okay, so can you guys see that? That's basically like the little cabin inside or whatever it is, okay? Beautiful, you guys got that. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to do the mass, okay? The mass, the big tall part of that ship, all right? So, right here, right at this point, right in the little crook of this cabin, Okay, right where the cabin goes down, that's where your mass is going to start. And you guys are going to take this, you're going to bring a line all the way up into those clouds. Okay, almost to the top. Can you see that? There's your mass. And it goes all the way in to the top of those clouds right here. Okay? You guys didn't realize you were going to build a boat today, did ya? No sorry, you didn't. <laughs> okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do... The, I don't know what this is called. I wish I had more boat terminology in me. But we're going to put this guy right here. This is like the pole that attaches to the sail. So let me do this. And then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Okay. That's the pole that attaches to the sail. Okay. And 
and I realized I went a little short on this, so I'm gonna bring my sailboat back further, like this. Okay? This is what happens sometimes when you freehand something. All right, so I'm bringing my boat just a little further back. Just like this, round it out so it looks just like it did before. We're just pushing it back a little bit, okay? There we go. Kathy Bowman, can we watch from the beginning? Okay, sweetie. Um, as soon as I finish, th this is still live. So as soon as I finish the, the, um, the live, honey, you will be able to watch it from the beginning. So give yourself about 20 minutes, okay, sweetie? And then it will be on my Facebook page for you to watch from the beginning, okay? So there's that. Now, we're going to draw our first sale. Okay, so this sail is going to go right above. It's going to go right here. You're going to put a line right above that post. Can you see that? So there's that line right above that post. And again, you guys, there is no prize for doing this in paint, okay? Feel free to use those pencils and those rulers because that is going to help you out. Then you can't make mistakes because you can always erase them. Okay? And what you guys are going to do is you're going to use your pole as that part of your sail. And you are going to come up and you are going to bring this little bugger. Whoops, a little bit more. All the way up. Okay, so let me show you what this looks like. It does have a tiny curve on it, and that is okay. All right, so here we go. And there. Can you guys see that? Tiny curve. All right, and it fits right above, and it almost goes to the top. Not quite. See that? Almost to the top, not quite. Okay, and there you go. And this is the bottom of that sail. The other part is the rigging, or whatever it's called, I don't know. Okay, just like that. And what you're gonna do is, extend that pole out a little bit. Okay, what you're gonna do next is you're going to attach this to this by going just like this. See that? Just like that. And you're going to do that all the way across. Right in between those two spaces. This is how that, that sail attaches to that thing underneath. And if you are a boat person, <laughs> Feel free to chime in and help me. Okay? There we go. Where's my dad now, huh? All right, that's how it's going to attach, okay? Beautiful. There you go. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to do this sail, okay? So we're going to start off with this sail. And this sail starts out about the same point, okay? About the same point that the other one stopped. Just maybe a little bit higher. And what you're going to do is it stops, okay, right here. It stops right there. Can you see that? Above that rigging line. So you're going to start right about here. And you're going to curve it out, curve it out, curve it out, and boom, chuckalucka. And right at that point. Okay? Can you see that? Nice. 
nice, you guys. You are building a proper sailboat. <laughs> even feel bad because <laughs> you're more important <laughs> okay that's the back side of that sail so this attaches right here that's why we went like this above the rigging okay that's the back side of the sail now the sail attaches to the sailboat right about here, okay? Right about there, all right. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take that little brush and we are gonna curve the bottom of that sail so that it attaches right there. Can you see that? Okay, from there to there. Now, as my father so elegantly painted out, this is a straight line, okay? So from the top of this sail to that little point where it connects is a straight line. So what you guys are gonna do at home if you need to take a ruler from here to here. Let me show you this in a better way, okay? So from here to here is a straight line. See that? Boom, just like that, okay? Yes, I got a paintbrush in my mind. So what we're gonna do is what I like to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to free ball it, just like I said, boom, okay, straight line from there to there, beautiful, marvelous, yes, yes, yeah, okay, now that is the major components of your sailboat. What you guys are gonna do, you're gonna come up here, okay, if you wanna thicken this up, and we're gonna take our medium brush and we're gonna paint in our entire sailboat. Watch this, okay? We'll take little Gilligan, how appropriate. And use him to paint in our entire sailboat. I don't know if I like that one. I think that's a stiffy. I don't want a stiffy. All right. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start in here. And I'm going to paint in this sail. And the beauty, you guys, of watching the replay is that you guys get that pause feature. So, if you need to pause this and get, do what you need to do, okay? So here we go, I'm painting in my first sail, all black, just like this. Beauty, beauty, beauty. All right, ooh, we're painting her in, we're painting her in. Here's that. It's my first sail, okay? And now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna paint in my second sail. All right. Boogala, boogala, boogala. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, and now you guys can see why we did those mountains in gray because look at that now our sailboat stands out doesn't it Ooh, beautiful. okay and then we're gonna come in we're gonna paint in the body of that ship all black okay just like this very carefully 
maybe thicken up that mass just a little bit so we know our, our ship has something to hold on to okay so we're gonna finish that up okay beautiful marvelous I like my boat. I like my boat. Yes, I do. Okay, you guys. Now, we have painted in our entire boat. Now, the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to bring in some boat lines. So this again would be where you guys would use your ruler and your pencil, okay? I like it. I like it. Who's ready to sail away? <laughs> okay. So this is where you would use your ruler. All right. So we're gonna go to. We're gonna take our little itty bitty, this little guy. Okay. Look at that little tip mouse. And at the top of this mask. We're going to give it a little ornate. Give it a little ornate. What are you even talking about? Or maybe that's a bird in the back. I don't know. But anyways, I like doing it. <laughs> See that? There's that. And now you guys are going to bring in your boat lines. Okay? Your sail lines. So, first thing we're going to do. Now, this is going to be a very thin line. To make a thin line, you got to point that little tip mouse, just tiny, tiny, and you're going to use very little pressure, very little pressure, okay? That's how you get nice, thin lines. You got to have a good detail brush and very little pressure, all right? Okay, so our first line is going to go from here, the top of that mass almost, it's going to come down. And it's going to attach to our sail Ooh, right here. And I'll show you what I'm doing in a second. Just let me get that set. Whoops, oh, I put two lines in there. Poopy doopy. Well, that's all right. Hold on one second. Even the, even the teacher makes mistakes. Guess what? I'm human. Oh, all right. Hold on. There we go. A little pink coming that up. There we go. Take a little pink coming that up. And I'll fix that later. But, anyways, um, hold on. It's going to drive me crazy now. Hold on. Boom, bada, boom, bada. So, our first line, hold on. Like I said, it's going to drive me crazy, so I got to cover it up. And I'll fix it better later. But anyways, okay. So our first line attaches from here and it goes right down to that first sail. Okay? From here to our first sail. And it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom. It goes right about there. Okay? That's our first line. Now... Our second line is going to attach from the back end of this sailboat, right? Ooh, I'm getting a package delivery. No, he just turned around in my driveway. Oh, well. Okay, so we're going to start up here at this ornate thing, and it's going to attach from the back of that sailboat all the way to the ornate thing. So here we go. Hold on, I'm gonna do it and then I'm gonna show you. Okay, here's that one. Boom bada boo. Ooh. All right, there's our second line. So their second line attaches from this weird ornate bird thing all the way to the end of the ship or sailboat. Not really a ship, I guess. That's our second line. And our final line is going to attach, let's see, where does this little bugger go? 
he's going to go from here. I'll show you. And he's going to go all the way up to here. So three lines on this boat. Now, if you're a boat person, you know what these lines are for. If you're not like me, they're just pretty. <laughs> There's our third line. So our third line starts here and it goes right to there. Okay, look at that. That's a boat for ya. I tell you what, this one actually is gonna sail. <laughs> okay? Now, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little railing to this boat. Why? So our little man doesn't fall off. That would be my dad, Peter. <laughs> so to add a railing, okay, you guys, whoops, hold on, let me get a little bit more paint on my brush. And you're gonna go from here to here, all the way out, little past the bow of that boat. Whoops, okay. Boom. See that? There. Okay. So you start off a little bit behind that sail, and you're going to take that line all the way out past the bow of that boat. All right. Okay. And then you're going to attach it here, right on the end with a little slanty line. That's number one. Gotta make sure we protect our sealer. Okay, we're gonna have a far line and one closer up right here because it attaches on both sides of the boat. See that? There and there. Okay. And then, finally, right on the end, we're going to have one that's close to us. Boom. And one that attaches on the far side of that boat, just like this. And the difference is, the one that attaches on the far side of the boat is going to be a little less pronounced. So there's our railing in the front. And what we do in the front, I guess we'll have to do in the back, right? All right. So on the back, your railing is going to go out this way. All right? Opposite direction. Okay? So that railing slants out that way. Okay? See that? Nice. All right? And we are going to bring it down like this. And then we'll attach it right there. So there we go. Like that. We'll attach it there. And then we are going to put a little slant right here. Okay, that's the railing for the back. And guess what, you guys? This is your entire boat. Yes, sir. -y. Okay, so what I'm gonna now this is your choice. If you want to add the little man sailing the boat, well, I'm gonna do that next. If you don't, all you gotta do is he's in the cabin, okay? So, I'm going to add the little man inside the boat. And I'm going to make him nice and simple, okay? Here we go. Right back here. All right, we're going to give him a belly and a leg. And it looks just like the letter L. Okay? We are not going to make this guy complicated. He's just a tiny little sailor. So it looks just like the letter L, right inside that, um, what do you call that? Inside the railing. So what I might wanna do is add another railing line right there. 
Okay? There you go. And then I'm going to give him a little dot for a head. Okay? Because this is, I mean, he is like not the focal point, okay? At all. So we're going to give him a little dot for a head. And then maybe give him a little visor for a hat. Okay? There you go. Just a little sailor man if you want to. If not, don't, okay? Maybe give him a little nose, tiny nose. All right, but that is it. Not important, okay? So there, just a little sailor man. Okay? <laughs> That'd be my dad. <laughs> Sailing on his boat. Okay, so that is your entire sailboat, everybody. Now, what we're going to do next, okay, we just got a couple more things on this one, is we're going to create the reflection in the water, okay? Now, the reflection, I'm just going to show you guys what this looks like, okay? It's very loose, all right? It's very loose. And it's done with this dark purple because, I mean, dark pink or whatever color you chose for the sky because it's this shadow, okay? It's the shadow of the boat. Now, what I have found, all right, the best way whenever I want to create something like this is to turn it upside down, okay? Turn it upside down and that way I can see how to do a reflection, all right? So what I'm gonna do is just basically, here, I'm carving out what that boat looks like upside down, okay? I'm giving myself parameters here. This is what my boat looks like upside down, all right? Just like this, just giving myself little parameters. Okay, see that? And then I'm going to do the same thing with my sail. Okay? So, this sail, see the mast? Here's the mast. Right here. All right? Whoops, sorry. Right there. Okay? And then... We're going to do a reflection of this sail. So it's kind of wanky because it's kind of like backwards and opposite. But there we go. If I was to flip that upside down and go like this, that would be the back sail. Okay, there's a reflection on my back sail. And then with this guy, okay, here's where it attaches in the front. There's that little rigging, and we're going to bring it over like this, okay? This is like, wow, right here, all right? And we're going to go roop like this, and roop like this, okay? And there you go. So that is a basic outline of what that reflection is reflecting upon. Okay, can you guys see that? Now I'm going to turn it upside down. I mean the right side up. I'm going to take my brush, all right, nice like this, and I'm just going to come in and gently bring in this darker pink. Okay, you want to take that pink and you want to brush it along those lines. Okay, because in the water, what happens is the water makes those lines perfectly imperfect. Can you guys see that? All right, if you need to take a little white in there. Do that. We do not want those lines in our water. So go right over those edges, just like this first. With a little bit of white and pink, 
Bring them in there. Swishy, 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 swishy. Okay? And there you go. There's your first reflection. Just like that. It's not perfect, is it? No. Okay. We're going to do the same thing here. Swish, swish, swish. Underneath. Make sure that you do a nice crisp line underneath that boat. Just like this. Okay, of that pink. See that? Nice crisp line. And then you guys are going to swishy, swishy, swishy. And they're not colored in perfectly, okay? There are going to be some parts that are going to be not reflecting because that's just how light works. In order to get rid of those lines on the side, we're going to go like this, add a little white first. And then go over it with a little bit of pink. Boop, 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 boop. Or magenta or whatever color you guys used. Okay. There. And you're just swooshing out, feathering out those edges. Just like that. See that? Just feathering out those edges. There you go. You got this, you guys. You got this. Okay, I gotta bring in a little more magenta to make that a little bit cleaner on the edges. Okay, and now we're gonna do the same thing, okay, to our last sail. Little bit of pink, little bit of white, boop, 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 not perfect. Okay, feathering it out on the edges. Okay, feathering over that line. And when I say feather, what I mean is we're using that water to make that look like it is not perfect, okay? It's kind of smudging into that water. There. All right. Now, can you guys see that? Beautiful. That's your basic reflection, but we don't want it to be so bold and perfect. So we're going to grab a tiny bit of white on our brush. Okay. Bring it in here like this because the water is over the reflection, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay. So we're going to bring a little white, not too much white though. A little bit of pink too. Okay, and just in some spots, we're going to bring that water over that reflection so our reflection doesn't look too perfect. Okay, because it's not a mirror image, it's reflecting in that water. Okay, look at that. All right, now. There we go. There's your reflection of your beautiful sailboat. And guess what? That boat is perfect. You can actually sail it. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. Now, the last thing that you guys are going to do on this painting. Actually, you're going to do two more things. You're going to grab your little brush. Okay. And you guys are going to come up into this sky and you're going to add some seabirds. All right, so here we go. Here's your little seabird, just like those little V birds that you did when you were a kid. Okay, you're going to add as many, as many or as few of those little seabirds as you would like. All right, remember the little V birds we did when we were a kid? Give them a little something, something. Okay, here's a seabird. All right, add a few more up here. Oh, V bird, seabird. Okay, here's another little guy. All right, add him down here. Oh, V bird, seabird. Okay. All right, and where else do I want a little V-bird, seabird? Maybe over here. 
just a tiny one in the corner. Okay, one over there. All right, because if we got a boat, we got seabirds. Maybe I'll add another one right here. I'll be seabird horrific. Okay. There you go. There are those seabirds. And the final thing that I'm going to have you do, because this is going to make the painting go blah, blah, okay? We're going to dry off this reflection. You guys are gonna grab your medium brush. All right, this guy right here, make sure it's nice and clean. A little Gilligan. Gilligan. Gilligan, get in my painting. Okay. <laughs> All right, grab a tiny bit of that teal or whatever the second color was that you chose, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to bring some of that color into this water, okay? And remember, you guys, that whenever we bring in color or light, okay, we are going to do it. We're going to follow that horizon line, okay? So bring in some of that teal down into this pink, just like this, or whatever your second color was. You guys can add a tiny bit of white to it. All right, add some of that in there. Okay, wherever, just a few, don't go, don't go crazy here, but just a little bit of that second color over this reflection. Okay, look at that, beautiful. All right, we're gonna brush it out. Woo, brush, 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 brush. And there you go, you guys. You have done it. You have created your anatomically correct sailboat, everybody. Okay. There you go. Yes, sir. All right. Now it's time for you guys to play. To add your final touches to your sailboat, make it your own, and add your famous artist signature to the lower left or right hand corner, flip them over, paint your bottom, paint whoever's bottom's with you if they let you, <laughs> okay, there we go, NLW, she's done, stick a fork in her. All right, I love you guys. Send me your pictures. I love you. Have a fabulous weekend. Enjoy yourself. Grab the replay. Sail away. And I will see you next Sunday night for Proud as a Peacock, baby. <laughs> and give yourself a little extra time for this one, okay? I love you guys. Mwah! Have a great weekend.